Uh, look, look, what a challenge, right? So avocado, how many ways can, can you do it? How many things can you do with it? How am I going to do something that if other people haven't already done, uh, which I guess is the bigger challenge. Kind of the first thing we do here is something that's a bit of a staple of Gerard's, the, the bread with smoked butter that we serve at the start, and everybody loves it in the smoked butter. And that, that's what we were going to do, but we're going to smoke the avocado and just lighten it up with a bit of sour cream to, uh, uh, to start the meal off. But then I thought we'll just change it to a canopy and we'll turn it into you guys coming out. So it's a nice crisp bread with the smoky avocado in there. Avocado, I think, can be quite interesting and versatile. Um, it's got a natural, nutty complex, um, complexity about it. Blue mackerel, there's a lot of it around at the moment. Now the water's getting colder. What we've done is make a, made a cure of pureed avocados with seaweed. So we put pureed seaweed through it as well, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. Just uh, spread it on, let it cure, and then we're gonna blowtorch that and just get that to caramelize nicely and give a nice crust on the mackerel. Um, and then we're gonna serve that with some, uh, some seaweed as well, some nasturtiums and some wild herbs. What we thought we'd do, it started as a bit of a joke, and then we decided to run with it, is why don't we do an avocado schnitty? So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we've beaten out an avocado, crumbed it like a schnitzel, and then we're just gonna cook it up and uh, serve it with coleslaw. Traditionally, you would have it with schnitzel, I would say, there's something that's there. So we just put a spin on that with some fermented mustard leaf, um, along with the cabbage in there, just a nice sharp element to go through and some lemon. Halfway through, I thought my favourite dish was the, the schnitzel because it's just, it was just so soft. It was just like a, a cloud eating it. It was, uh, yeah, really, really amazing. Just the texture more than anything else. The mud crab dish, we just wanted to do something really simple with that. So just sweetness of crab, sweetness of corn, oceanic flavour, and then just avocado snow over the top. Just something different that you can do with it. With that, all we did was just whole avocados and put them in liquid nitrogen until they were really, really firm. And then we just uh, really, really cold blender and just blended them to a snow. That was a really simple technique. We've got suckling pig in, in every piece. You've got to look like a pork belly, but you'll get a little piece of loin, a little piece of um, shoulder and a little piece of leg, all bonded back together into the same piece of meat. So you get a little cross section of the pig in one. The avocado, which we added a spice blend to it, it comes from Persia called Advia. That particular spice blend is full of things like rose petals, dried lime, cardamom, like really heady, fragrant sort of spices. So we wanted to see how the avocado would carry that and then carry it onto the pig. So the next course we're going to go into now is barbecued goat. So this is a dish that we've done on and off in the bistro for a long time. Mahamra and goat is, is a classic combination in Lebanon when you're over there. So mahamra is basically like a red pepper, roasted red pepper puree with walnuts and pomegranate molasses. Um, what we've done with it is we've uh, put avocado in there. So it's probably 70% avocado and 30% the other ingredients um, with the red pepper just being in there for a bit of a seasoning, give it a savory note. Magnificent food. Um, we're looking at avocado in ways that I wouldn't ever thought that can be cooked that way. Um, ideas that we can use on our menu, that's what we came here for. What we've done is we've taken avocado, made an ice cream from the avocado, and then we're putting it into cream charger and discharging it in liquid nitrogen, so you get like little avocado, uh, uh, sort of like a frozen parfait that's coming through. Um, we've done the same thing again with white chocolate, with a touch of avocado in it, and uh, seasoned with lemon myrtle, so that will just bring out all those notes and, and help the avocado carry out. Uh, and just fresh raspberries on there in season and just to freshen it up and, and bring it forward. Then the last course we're going to do, which is another one which uh, we did for a bit of fun, an avocado macaron, just to finish off as a petit four, and then an avocado affogato. So uh, avocado ice cream that we're making, we're putting in a little coupette for you and we're going to come around with some coffee um, and just pour it over the top. So it's basically, uh, you're going to get all that avocado carrying through in the coffee and I thought it would be a really nice way to finish off the uh, meal. Superb, superb. Um, I really love the program that you put on. Uh, I think it's uh, a really great way of doing so. Um, picking some of Brisbane's best chefs, like Ben Williamson, to put his twist, you know, his signature style onto all these dishes and really display avocado in a way that was, was really, really clever. Taking advantage of the creamy properties in some areas or taking advantage of the, um, the, the fatty properties in some other areas and just kind of focusing on it in different ways. That's what I found really interesting with today. The, the macaron just blew my mind actually. It's, it's the best macaron I've ever had, guaranteed. You know, it's not just on toast. You know, it's not a breakfast dish. 
It's a main, it's a dessert, and it's a, you can use it on, you know, multi-levels. Yeah. And different flavours, you know, sweet, sour, savoury. Yeah, I'm doing a new menu tomorrow for our, our we, we change, we have a seasonal menu. So tomorrow I'm, I'm going to sit down and do a whole new, our a la carte menu. So I've got all these ideas in my head, so I'll be thinking about it if I go to tomorrow. <laughs>